Uh, we were into quarter of a million per half hour. So if you take that six times that, what does that give you? Six times quarter of a million, one and a half million. One and a half million. Yeah. I don't know how that the lovable lassie, the big switchboard dealt with it. Well, I'll tell you how she dealt with it. The lovable lassie was an outstanding, and I mean real top, 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 top typist. And she contributed so much to the show just by her skills. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because she was, she, I had a screen in front of me. It was all the latest stuff at the time. And I had a screen in front of me. And uh, she would type up the names. And if they fell off the end, she would get rid of them. And then she would pop up the next names. So every time I went, I got the right name. Uh -huh. But what I always found funny, as you remember, this is that people used to come on and just screamed on the phone. Ah, they used to just shout and bawl down the phone and all that, and we used to cut them off. That's because they, they wanted to be in touch with McClue, but they didn't know what to say. They, they, they didn't even shout and they didn't even shout and the ball. They just came on and did that. Ah, ah, that I think that was a lot of youngsters, actually, because we had a huge, huge youth following. And I remember speaking at a conference, Alan, and uh, just before the well, I was about to speak, and in came the head of Radio One, and I thought, "What's he doing here?" And I thought, "He's here because of the youth following." Uh, 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 I mean, I mean, get back to I mean, get back to Scotty FM, Scotty. Um, obviously, it's no. It's, um, do you remember Wee Fat Bob? I remember Wee Fat Bob. Yes, I haven't heard anything of him for years and years. As he did. Oh, I don't know. I, I would hope not. But you don't know. You, you just don't know. I mean, I've said about somebody, you know, how are they? And they go, oh, I, I, they passed away. Why? Uh, because I remember, obviously, when you left Scott FM and then we fat Bob, so we came out, I came on to, when you were on, it was pure mayhem. To we fat Bob, he was quite mellow. Yes. You know, he was like, he was like an agony uncle. Yes. You know, that, but, that's right. I, I, that's right. Like, I mean, what, I mean, when did you start with Scott FM? Uh, I, mean, I started, I'll tell you exactly, the 12th of December, 1994. Aye, I was, uh, because I remember I worked in Royal Mail at the time. Aye. And I used to listen to it, and I, I was 10, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m., and I was back at half past four in the morning. And what brought us the bunny, Alan, was that I had uh, a big scarf and a bunny on, and the newspapers were trying to take photos of me going into the studio because they wanted to know who the new mystery man was. Well, well, so we just kept point. it. And because, as you know, the studios were at Leith Docks and on the uh -huh. 12th of December, Leith Docks are not actually the warmest place to be. No, no. And then obviously after that,